Moses and the Bulrushes, Exodus 1 to 2. In Egypt, a new pharaoh came to the throne. He says, Joseph's time, the children of Israel had grown powerful and numerous, and a new king was threatened that they would overrun his country. We must take precautions against them. If war breaks out, they may side with our enemies and defeat us, he told his counsellors. First he gave orders that the Israelites be treated as slaves and work in gangs building roads and cities. Then he made a ruling any male child born to an Israelite woman should immediately put be put to death. Now there was a young married woman of the tribe, Levi, who had recently given birth to a boy. Both parents were delighted and chose to escape Pharaoh's cruel command. With a heavy heart, she made a covered cradle out of dried reeds, which was made watertight with tar and clay, and tenderly placed her baby, and left him hidden among the bulrushes on the banks of the Nile. The baby was watched by the baby's sister, who stayed close to see what would happen. It was not long before Pharaoh's daughter came down to the river with her maid to bathe. Catching sight of the cradle, she sent the maid to bring it to her. Her heart was touched. This must be a Hebrew child, she said. At that moment the baby's sister came forward curtsying and asked the princess if she could be of help. Shall I find a nurse among the Hebrew women to look after the baby, she said. The princess was delighted with the idea and the girl ran home to fetch her mother and the princess was happy to employ her and paid her well. So the baby's real mother was able to bring him up in the time. Pharaoh's daughter came to love the child and adopted him. I will call him Moses, which means draw out because I drew him out of the water, she said. <laughs>